Today we're going to take a look at how to create your turtle sandbox in SketchUp. Uh, this is a great introductory or beginning lesson to using SketchUp if you've never uh, used it before. But basically we're going to go ahead and create some very basic shapes, um, some very basic modeling, and using some tools that are easily available to you through SketchUp. So the seven main parts that we're going to look at making today is the body of the turtle, the legs and the head. We'll make the walls of the sandbox. Uh, creating our 3D model to make it three-dimensional. And then we'll go ahead and add some colors and some sand to it. Um, and then if we have some time, maybe we'll do a little bit with the 3D warehouse. So one of the first things we want to do is create the actual body of our sandbox. So in order to do that, we're going to take a look at a top-down approach. So we're going to go over to our views and select the top of our house. And that's going to give us that top-down. Now from our tool palette, what we're going to want to go ahead and do is create a circle. So we're going to go over here to our rectangle tool and select it, and we'll use the circle from there. Here we're going to start at the 0, 0 origin, and going straight up on our green axis, we're going to go ahead and drag up, and we're going to type in 36 for 36 inches. And we're going to go ahead and select Enter. That's going to kind of lock our radius in of 36 inches, and we can rotate. And now that we have our circle or our base, we're going to go ahead and select our model here, and get rid of them since we only need that for scale. So now we're going to go back to our top down approach. Now that we have the basic base of our sandbox, we need to create the legs. Now when creating the legs, we're going to continue using the circle tool. And for this one, there's no exact measurement, but what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and grab this endpoint and select. And we're going to drag our mouse all the way over until we get to the next endpoint. So you'll see that right now it's giving us about nine and three eighths inches. We're going to go ahead and select from here. We'll go ahead and do the same thing on the red axis, get to our next endpoint, And we can go ahead and do that again at the bottom. And one last time over here. Now that's going to give us our four legs that we're going to use for our turtle. So the next thing we have to go ahead and do is create the head. And we're going to use the head by using the endpoint in between the upper two left legs. Select, and we're going to drag out until we get to the second endpoint. So we're going to make the circle tangent to the two legs. Once we select, you will notice that there is going to be a little bit of overlap between your two lines. We can simply grab the eraser tool at that point and delete that inside line. And now basically what we have created is the head and the legs to our actual sketch here. So now we need to make some minor modifications in order to actually create the walls of our sandbox. So in order to do this, one of the first things we want to make sure we go ahead and do is we're going to use that eraser tool again. And we're going to go ahead and delete the inner part of the four legs. And we want to make sure that we don't get rid of this line here because if we do, we're not going to be able to use the offset tool which is going to create the actual walls once we're inside the sandbox. So we're going to need to go ahead and create the offset in order to do that. So we have various tools. If you see, I'm using the online version. If we click on the toolbar to the left, so you can see that we have the follow me, we have an offset and all of that's kind of located under the push pool. If you're using SketchUp 2017 or 2018, you should have an individual tool on your palette in order to do this. But I'm going to go ahead and select the offset tool. And we're going to go ahead and click on the inside, and that's going to create an offset of that outside wall. We're going to go ahead and give this a wall thickness of six inches, and we'll select enter. And as you can see, we're going to basically use that outside part now to go ahead and create the walls. But before we do that, we can go ahead and now use the eraser tool and go ahead and delete the inner part of the legs. We no longer need these lines, so now we can go ahead and get rid of them. And while you're in here, you can also go ahead and get rid of that inner part of the, the larger circle there as well. Now from here, the next part we need to take a look at is creating that 3D look or that 3D model. So we're going to take an isometric approach to this and we're going to go ahead and use our push pull. And we're going to go ahead and select the outside walls and bring that up to 12 inches or one foot. And we'll do the same thing with the head. And we're going to make sure that that's on face so that they are even with one another. Now, once we have the actual walls, 
what we're going to need to go ahead and do is bring up the actual sand in the middle. So using our push pull, we're going to go ahead and continue by clicking and dragging that up six inches. And now you have a little bit of sand inside of your turtle. Now, in order to add the sand, what we want to do is change a little bit of the color. So we're going to play a little bit with the color features here. Now, if I triple click, you're going to notice that it selects the entire sketch, and that's fine for right now. We're going to go ahead and select the paint bucket. And on my materials list over here, I'm going to go ahead and search. And from here, I'm going to select my colors, and I'm going to find a color. So I'm going to go with a green, and I'm just going to go ahead and paint the entire uh, turtle green color here. Now, as far as the sand goes, if we want to change the way that that sand looks, we can actually go and select from all of our different types of materials here. So you can see you have landscaping, you have stone, lots of different things that you can kind of go and look through. Um, if we go in here, you can see in their landscaping and fencing is that you actually do have a sand feature. So if I select my sand, I'm going to paint the inner portion, that sand color, and now we have this nice little sand sandbox or sand feature in our sandbox. Now, once we have that, um, there's a couple other things that we can do with this. Um, we can go and draw a face on this if we want. Uh, we can also go into the 3D warehouse um, and add some components, which every tends to love to do. So we're going to, let's go ahead and take a look at how we can do some of that as well. So I'm going to go to my components tab. And once I go into that components tab, I could search the 3D warehouse. And let's just search for beach ball. And from here, we can find tons of different beach balls that were actually created already or components that we can simply go ahead and bring in. Um, I like to use this SketchUp for schools. And it's going to go ahead and insert that in. And once we get that, we can make sure that it is on face and select. From there, you have a little beach ball that's in your sandbox. We can make sure it's kind of laying on the sand. And that's about it. Um, if you want to take this a little bit further, you can always go ahead and add some different things to this. Uh, one of the things I like to add is just a little bit of a face to this. So not really too particular with this. Kind of just create your actual eye. If you want to go ahead, you can actually even select that and using the move tool and then hitting control, we can actually duplicate this and move it over if we want to. Um, if you don't want to use the move tool and you just want to have your students or if you just want to go ahead and create, um, you can simply just kind of go ahead and create another eye, make sure it looks somewhat similar. We can create a mouth here by using the line tool, just drawing a simple line across and even getting into using something like the two-point arc, which will kind of give you that mount. Um, once you're kind of there, you can kind of use the push-pull tool, and maybe let's go down uh, two inches, and we can do that for the eyes, and we can even fill that up and give it a different type of feature here. Maybe we want to use something like water, um, and we can kind of go and paint them so it looks like you have a little pull there. But lots of different things you can do with this. It does allow you to kind of practice with some of the very basic tools um, since this is more of a beginner lesson. But it is a great way to get started with SketchUp and understand the principles that go along with 3D modeling.